So today's challenge is to get out and to photograph a waterfall using time lapse. So this is stitching a whole lot of photographs together to make a little movie. Probably looking at about going for about four or five seconds and I want to get that slow feathery feel of the waterfall. Problem is that the weather's good because it's cloudy but it's also raining so I'm stuck here in the car and uh, have a chicken as a friend down there. You know you're in the country when you've got a chicken as a friend. It's still raining but uh, it's not as hard as it has been so I guess we're just going to give it a go. To get to the waterfall means a small hike through some New Zealand forest and even in the rain it's a great walk. I'm thinking of the best way to take the 250 time-lapse photos that will be stitched together to make the final short video. Will I have enough time to take that many photos before it starts to rain again? We have a bit of a break in the weather, so it's time to set up. In my camera bag, I have a Canon 60 for still photos. You can see everything is wrapped up in plastic bags to keep it dry. And here's the camera I'm going to use for the time-lapse photos, which is a Canon 40D with an EFS 10-22mm lens. The camera is a bit older, but it should be perfect for the job. So looking at this setup, there's an intervalometer which electronically sends messages to the camera to take 250 time-lapse photos, so I don't have to do it manually. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes here. It's taking a photo about every three seconds. Here's the camera, and you can see the red light on the back which shows it's taking photos. The lens is on manual focus, so once the focus is set, the camera is not searching for more focus points. Over the end of the lens we have a circular polarising filter which reduces the glare of the rocks and the water. So I'm taking a few single images from here. These are not for the time lapse but they're for making prints. I'm taking photos from here because the water is not very clear today. So you don't see the rocks at the bottom of the pole. So I'm adding these plants into the composition to keep it more interesting. I need to use a better camera for the printed photos. So this is the Canon 6D full frame body with a 24 to 105 lens and a polarizing filter. And here's how the photos turned out. Okay, it's really starting to rain. So uh, I think I need to pack up and go home. 